our new kind of crazy thing we do here, uh, we like to give our speakers a standing ovation before taking the stage. Uh, and this is really just a way to show that support and to really, uh, you know, kind of get them amped up and get them for us early. So, without further ado, let's welcome Dalton with Organizer. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, good morning. Uh, we're organizer, um, by the way, this is a uh, full disclosure, this is like a 20 minute slide deck that I'm gonna crush into six minutes. So I'm gonna skip over some slides and we can go back to those for questions at the end. Uh, we're organizer and we're communication software for the management of organ distribution. We save lives with more intelligent communication. Uh, and you'll know exactly what that means uh, when, I'm, when I'm finished with this presentation. The story starts with myself. I played football here at the University of Iowa for two years. And then at the peak of my career, I was in a uh, near-fatal motorcycle accident that left me with a myriad of injuries. One of the most serious ones was a paralyzed right arm. And I, uh, was I strengthened my right arm for the next eight months or so and uh, got strong enough to be a candidate for a experimental nerve transplant surgery, of which I received from Mayo Clinic and it was successful. Uh, and so ever since then, I, had a, I worked my entire life to play the game of football and and then it was gone and I had a large gap to fill so I took the passion I had for sports and applied it to the repurposing of organ tissues. Uh, also my co-founder, uh, he has four ants on the liver transplant uh, uh, waiting list as well. So, so we have uh, personal experiences. Uh, what's the problem? The, the, the significant problem in the organ transplant industry is that 54% of unused or 54% of donated organs are unused and that is a smack of face type of uh, a realization. And, uh, it's absolutely uh, such, such a tragedy, not only because of the financial missed out revenues for these transplant centers and hospitals, but more importantly because 120,000 plus people currently wait on the waiting list and 22 of those people die every day waiting for a life-saving transplant. So what's the problem? The problem is that there is a, no standardization uh, whatsoever with the communication uh, for in the organ transplant industry. Every hospital does it their own way and when you try to get an organ transplant what's unique is you try to get eight hospitals to all work together um, and that results in convoluted processes. Uh, most often uh, through our research we discover that on average 500 phone calls are made per transplant. So our solution. Uh, organ transplants incredibly complex uh, but what we're doing is really simple, powerfully simple. Uh, never before has there been such low supply and high de met by high demand of donated organs. Um, and uh, we are focused on further those donated organs. There's that 54% waste. We are focused on taking the, these, these organs and making sure that they get uh, to recipients um, with our streamlined communication application that's focused on uh, group communication for organ transplant. We take fragmented communications and we streamline them to ensure that our organs get placed. And not only with patients uh, saving lives, but also for the organs that can't be used uh, for a number of reasons for transplant, we're uh, targeting researchers and pharmaceutical companies for the uh, use of those uh, donated organs. They've actually come to us and said, you know, you, you guys have, we would like access to this organ information. And we discovered that marketplace after them coming to us first. And so uh, our big goal is to try to increase organ utilization uh, as much as possible. And we've discovered, uh, we, we have hypothesized that uh, we, we're gonna shoot for about 20% uh, in these first three years to try to increase this. Um, our product, uh, there's, a, there's a demo uh, that usually plays here, but uh, we are group communication that's specifically focused for organ transplant um, and we, we are different from other competitors in the fact that we focus on group communication and we partner with uh, relational coordination analytics out of MIT that use relational coordination theory, uh, proving that better group communication within hospital uh, systems result in uh, better patient outcomes. And so we focus on group communication, not just singular one-to-one -one communication, and we've made it transplant focused. Uh, why not only is transplant uh, got a great opportunity to improve the industry, but it's incredibly fast for us to implement technologies because HIPAA has certain provisions that allow us to make data sharing agreements uh, a lot easier. Uh, so uh, where we're at now is we've uh, uh, we have acquired three pilot sites, uh, one here in Iowa with Iowa Donor Network as a partner, 
Uh, the others, Life Source, which is in Minneapolis. They cover states Minnesota, North Dakota, South Dakota, and then Life Center Northwest of Seattle, and they cover the rest, including Alaska. Uh, what we've done, uh, the industry gives out three Crystal Heart Awards for excellence uh, and performance. Two of our uh, organ procurement organizations received those awards last year, so we're working with not only the two, Life Source and Life Center, who got those awards, but also Life Center and Life Source have the largest geographical area that they serve in the country, and so we're really working with some of the best. We plan to expand this five additional sites along the West Coast and East Coast uh, by 2017. Uh, the team is Eric and myself. We're, we're young, but we're back with with a lot of uh, experience. Uh, Thomas Warnbeck, uh, founder and, C and former CTO of Got It, which he took to Silicon, uh, Iowa-based company that took to Silicon Valley and growth and have, uh, has grown it to over a hundred million dollar worth. Uh, revenue company. And then Naveed Amini, he is focused, he's a Six Sigma uh, guru. He's really focused on, not only has he worked at LifeSource and in organ transplant before, but he's worked, uh, he's, he specializes in processes and he helps us quantify when we go into these organizations and show them how we've improved their processes. And then our advisors, we have tremendous advisors, Dr. Manny Villafana on the right, he is the founder of St. Jude Medical. Uh, in Minneapolis, along with eight other successful medical device companies that he's taken to strategic acquisitions or IPOs. Uh, Dr. Robert Emery is considered a founding father of transplant. He uh, has been in the organ transplant since the beginning, uh, has been on, on site with some of the first heart transplants done in South Africa, as well as founded the first organ procurement organization, which is one of our customers now. Susan Gunderson, uh, she is the CEO of LifeSource, one of our customers, and she's really focused on customer and product uh, 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 as our product and customer advisor. And then John Slump, who's uh, found CFO and founder of uh, Corvita Medical, uh, which is an Iowa-based company, and he's raised over $30 million for that company. So uh, where we're at today is um, we are currently raising a seed round. We've raised uh, over 50% we're 50, over 50 subscribed to our $250,000 raise. Um, most of those money is coming from Northern Iowa, Northeast Iowa, as well as Minnesota. Um, and uh, also, I want to end on a, on, a, on a positive note, and what this is really about is uh, kind of simultaneously and ironically, during the during my uh, accident, as I was researching organ organ tissue um, recovery and repurposing, a uh, friend Brandon on the right, his son got put on the heart transplant when he was born, uh, and I watched him struggle for that first year, and I was very curious to understand why it was taking so long for him to get a heart transplant. I knew nothing about the organ transplant process. Uh, he's two and a half years old today and still waits. Um, and it's organizer's goal that uh, by the time that his uh, heart comes around, that organizer is the tool that gets it done. So, thank you.